Hello, and we're back again with the wonderful Dr. Mark Cohen, and I'm so excited to have you again, Mark. I just wanted to share some, I had a conversation with someone the other day, and this person said to me that I, was, I did my presentation, and she was listening, and she said um, she believed that our bodies are now well-equipped to be able to deal with the chemical onslaught that we uh, subject our body to on a daily basis. And I just looked and I thought, oh my goodness, like either she's not aware of the chemical toxic burden we place on our body. Again, we know what we know, we know what we don't know, but we don't know what we don't know. Or she, I, I don't know, I was just lost. So I'd love to get your feedback on that, Mark, if you could possibly um, give me a response to that. I mean, it just sounds like a, you know, a person was very uninformed because, I mean, the toxic load that we've put in our body in the last 100 years is greater than you know, any other time. And you know, our bodies have not adapted. And that's why cancer is now the biggest killer on earth and the biggest killer in Australia. It's why we have this huge global epidemic of um, diabetes, you know, diabetes and obesity, because there's all these obesogens out there um, which are often pesticides and other things, active obesogens, and even in utero, they actually cause us to become overweight and, and have metabolic problems. That's why we have this outbreak of um, reproductive problems, reproductive abnormalities, um, or the xenoestrogens out there, um, from again, from pesticides to plastics, etc. Um, we're just bombarded, and, and it's, there's such a range. There's radioactive particles, there's heavy metals released from burning fossil fuels, there's um, the solvents, there's a pharmaceutical residue, pesticide residues, um, fire retardants that we're, we're exposed to. And when they've studied that in the general population, there's a big study done in America, you know, more than 90% of the people um, were detected to have fire retardants and plasticides in their blood, um, in their body tissues. You know, the Canadian government's done work on, on infants and, and um, newborn babies that are born pre-polluted with you know, mm. hundreds of different um, industrial chemicals, which are many known to be carcinogenic, um, and to cause reproductive problems and neurodevelopmental problems. So no, we haven't adapted to the toxicity. Now, we do have organs of detoxification. You know, our skin through sweat, our liver and our kidneys. Actually, our, our liver is our main organ of detoxification and our kidneys as well. But they're under constant burden from whether it's alcohol, drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, things like caffeine, all put a burden on our um, liver to detoxify, plus all the stuff we put in our food. And then we're, we're cause it's added burden because we, we, you know, without probably thinking about it too hard, we add poison to our water and we drink it. We add poison to our food and we eat it. And then we wonder why we're getting sick. So I have this theory that eating less poison and drinking less poison is good for you. Oh, I totally and, um, agree. <laughs> and and the, you know, the more we can reduce our, our body burden, the more we can relieve the pressure on our organs of detoxification and then try and reduce our overall toxic load. But even with clean water and clean food, um, just living in the modern world, we're all gonna be exposed to certain levels of toxicants. So we, you know, it's better you know, to do the best we possibly can with what we've got, um, you know, just common sense really. And to start with water is the most basic thing in our body. You know, 99% of molecules are water. Two thirds of our body is water, and it's the infrastructure of our body. And as Bill Mollison said, when you get the, the basic things right, everything else can get right on its own. So getting the water right is just so important. And um, yeah, if you don't use a filter, you're going to be one. Yeah. So you know, get a, getting a filter is a basic thing to do. Um, yeah. And in fact, you know, what's the point of taking probiotics and doing all these other great things if you're if you're feeding all the gut bacteria poison? You know, giving them chlorine. So it cuts down. And it's even in the first world, but also in the third world, giving clean water to people is the cheapest and most effective health intervention you can do. Now, there's no other vaccine or antibiotic or medical technology that's more effective than just provision of clean water. And yeah. you know, we're doing it. So providing yeah. these filters, you know, it's such a joy to be able to, you know, talking about you know, filtering and flushing our bodies. And then, I mean, these are the first products I've aligned with. Um, you know, I've, I've got many textbooks and things, but as a product that's come out with a water filter, it just feels so right because it's such a powerful intervention in making people healthier and happier.
Yep. And plus, um, anyone who buys a whole house filter, 10% of the proceeds, so it's $2,212, including freight, 10% of that yep. goes to Bathe the World Foundation. And that provides water for a family, you said, for how long? Well, the equivalent of about a family of four to have you know, drinking water for 10 years. So That's we're amazing. using these solar, solar distilleries that actually last 25 years, but um, and you know, this, you know, this actually makes a real difference to whole communities providing clean water infrastructure. As I said, it's the most powerful intervention you can do for people. You know, roughly um, women and, and mainly girls spend 200 million hours every single day just to gather water. Um, a thousand babies die every single day because of unclean water. And there's you know, 2.4 billion people, it's one in three people on earth, don't have access to, to clean water to bathe in. That don't have access to clean water to drink. So providing clean water is it's an imperative. And I, I can't understand how we can talk about going to Mars, but we can't give just even a bucket of clean water a day to everyone on Earth. And I think that's achievable. Um, the Bathe the World Foundation, which you're a director of, and and you know we're actually partnering with F Cubed and World Vision to put water infrastructure out into the world. Um, it's such an effective intervention that makes you feel good. So. For me to you know be able to promote filters that the people who use the filters it's going to change their life and they're going to help change people in the third world's life it's a joyous thing to be able to to work in the commercial world but also be working in the philanthropic world and also the research world the scientific world to understand um the, through citizen science what is the effect on our gut bacteria of drinking clean water so yep. yeah, it, yeah. It, it, all the boxes um you know it doesn't need a lot of thought it's just a, it's an obvious and easy thing to, for people to do to, to really transform their health and their life. Yeah, no, it certainly is. I just want to um, finish this um, video on, you know, I, as I said, I try to live as no tox as I possibly can, but I'm always on a plane. So, and then we have the air pollution. We have all of the other pollutants that unfortunately the outgassing of furniture and all sorts of things. I, I minimize any toxicity by way of what I put in and on my body. But having the fact that, and, and definitely water filter, for, will, filtered water, I'm exactly the same. I will not drink tap water. I would rather be dehydrated than drink tap water um, or bottled water as such because of the plasticizing ingredients in that. I'll drink glass bottled water as long as it's spring water as such, but love, love, love the filtered water. So you had the opportunity to listen to this amazing man again. And I just want to thank you, Mark. For anyone who is interested in the filters, please reach out to me or go to innerorigin.com forward slash Therese Kerr. Know that not only will you look after your health by purchasing yourself one of the best um, health interventions that you can do for your own body, but you will also be able, be able to contribute to other people around the world and ensure that they have clean water, drinking water, and um, that's so very special. So thank you, Mark. Thank you for being a creator of what I believe are the world's best water filters. And one thing before I go, they last, they'll last. they last nearly a lifetime, won't they? Because they're stainless steel, marine grade stainless steel. Yeah, marine grade steel, there's, there's, the canisters are the highest, um, these are the highest quality filters I could find. You know, and I've saw cartridges and put them together. Um, so yeah, these are designed to be you know, really reliable, to, to last a lifetime and to, to provide the, the best quality or best possible quality drinking water with the least amount of toxic load that you can have in a filter. And, and particularly, you know, the whole house, so you can actually bathe in clean water. And um, I don't, we don't even realise the implications of that yet because you know, so few people have bathed in clean water. But when we start studying that, I think we're going to realise that, you know, what were we doing? You know, bathing in poison and drinking poison, thinking we're going to be healthy. Um, yeah. So we yeah, will look a lot of work back. to do, but this yeah. is great to be able to get it out there. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. You. We will look back on these times, I, I believe, down the track and we'll think, what on earth were we doing? What were we thinking as such? But now we have these solutions and we have the knowledge and the wisdom from yourself and we're so excited to be able to share these mm -hmm. and so very, very grateful that you released these for people. So thank you. Thank you, Therese.